gang, welcome back. Effie review mechanics of materials problem for you here. We've got a beam supported by two cables. The rigid beam is supported by two cables that made out of the same material. What is the distance X? There it is over there. For the bar to remain horizontal. There are your answer choices. Work it out. When you come back, I'm going, you press pause. When you come back, I'm going to work it out for you. Let's see if we get the same answer. Ready, set, go. Okay, did you work it out? Let's go. Okay, what do we know here? We're going to need some compat. We just logically, what do we know? Okay, let's call this cable um, AB and we'll call this cable BC. Okay, what the heck? Here's what I know, that it, for this to remain horizontal, if the bar moves down like, you know, 10 millimeters, well then this one has to stretch 10 and that one has to stretch 10. So delta for, um, that's, I gave them the same numbers, didn't I? For uh, AB has to be equal to delta for CD. Those two have to be the same. What else do I know, okay? I know that the force, let's call it P, in AB um, plus the force in, uh, what is this, CD, right, CD, has to equal what? Up stuff has to equal the down stuff. I got two cables that are pulling upwards and I got one force pulling downwards. So those two things together have to equal 1,500 kilonewtons. I know that, okay? Groovy. Okay, do I know anything else that has the X in it? Because those things don't have the X in it. Um, I think I can just do a little statics here. And I can do some of the moments about, let's do point A here, okay. And what do we get here? We get, uh, this one gets knocked out. 1,500 rotate negative, so minus 1,500 times how far away? X. Minus plus going the other way, whoop, this way, uh, F. CD, or let's call it PCD, since we called it P over there. Okay, times how far away? Four. Okay, so this is going to give us a relationship between these things here, okay? And again, this one's in kilonewtons, and that one's in uh, meters, okay? So let's go, let's see if we can figure this out here. Um, so our forces are going to be in kilonewtons. That's okay. That's going to be in kilonewtons over there, right? And then meters is really what we want over here. So leaving that in meters, that's okay too. Okay. I talked myself into it, right? Here we go. So now I need a relationship between this one and that one. Okay. So we're going to use, I don't know, we're going to use PL over AE, aren't we? Okay. So P in AB times L for AB. How long is L? 700 millimeters, okay, divided by, well, A, the diameter is 25, so that's pi times 12.5 squared, right, times E, and guess what? E is the same on this side as it is on this side because it's the same materials, right? So the E's are going to divide away, aren't they? Let's go, let's go. Over here, I'm gonna have PCD times its L of 1200, okay, divided by its cross-sectional area, which is pi times 20 squared. Okay, okay, here we go. So let's see if we can get this. 700 divided by pi, well, you know what? There's a pi on either side too, isn't there? Okay, so 700 divided by 12.5 squared equals, and then I'm gonna multiply that by 20 squared, so times 20 squared equals, and then divide that by 1200, divided by 1200 equals, okay, so 1.49 PAB is equal to PCD. Okay, let's plug that in for CD right there. If that's 1.49 plus one more, that's 2.49 PABs equals 1,500. So PAB must be equal to, 
1500 divided by 2.49 equals 602.4. That's the force in cable PAB. So what must the force in cable PCD be? 1500 minus answer equals 897.6. Okay, now I've got the forces in those cables. Oh, hang on a second. All I got to do is put it in here, don't I? So, 1500 X is equal to four times PCD 897.6. Okay, times four equals, and then divided by 1500 equals 2.39 equals X. Tell me it's up there. Tell me it's up there. Oh, answer? Answer A. Let's go. Let's do another one, team.